Good afternoon. Here are today's news headlines. Two students killed in Portland crash. Ex-cop charged in two million abduction robbery in St. Thomas and two charged for lottery scamming in St. Anne. Details coming up right after this break. Two students are dead and at least five others have been rushed to the hospital after a taxi transporting students slammed into a park truck near Blueberry Hill in Buff Bay, Portland on Tuesday. A police source told the news that the incident took place shortly after 4.30 p.m. after the driver of the several-seater taxi reportedly lost control of the vehicle and slammed into the back of the truck. It is understood that the two people died at the accident scene. The injured persons were rushed to hospital in Andata Bay. An ex-policeman is facing several criminal charges for his alleged involvement in an abduction and $2 million robbery, his attorney has confirmed. Lonnie Percy was charged by detectives on Tuesday with kidnapping, use of a firearm to commit a felony, robbery with aggravation, assault of common law, and breach of the Corruption Prevention Act, his attorney Donovan Collins disclosed during an interview. Percy was picked out of a lineup during an identification parade held on Monday, Collins confirmed. It is unclear if charges have been filed against a serving police constable who remains in custody for his alleged involvement in the robbery. But according to Collins, his client's employer has shown police investigators surveillance camera footage which clearly showed Percy at work in St. Mary at a time that would make it impossible for him to be in St. Thomas committing the alleged offense. For some strange reason, the police officers from I probe have failed to take a footage or the device as part of their investigation, Collins said, making reference to the Police Internal Affairs Unit, Inspectorate and Professional Standard Oversight Bureau. Collins said his client has been cooperating with investigators from the onset and that he directed them to the address of his employer where he has was apprehended. Investigators believe the victim of the $2 million robbery, which took place in St. Thomas recently, was set up by a close friend who he told that he had collected a large sum of cash. He reportedly told investigators that his abductors warned him that they would lost him if they were not paid millions of dollars for his release. The two suspects who were arrested last Thursday by the major organized crime and anti-corruption agency in connection with suspected lottery scamming activities have been charged. The two were charged on the weekend for breaches of the law reform, fraudulent transaction, special provision act. They are 24-year-old Nicoy Pottinger of Mami Bay, St. Anne and 40-year-old Melitia Green of Drax Hall, St. Anne. The two were arrested during a joint operation between MOCA and personnel from the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigation Branch in St. Anne. Investigators say lottery scamming paraphernalia were found in their possession during the operation. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share. Hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you...
guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and comment down below